Okay, well, I decided to visit my garden again, and uh, I just felt that leaving all that parsley there just to die over the winter would not be a good idea. I also found that my winter savory was also harvestable, so I uh, <coughs> grabbed a whole bunch of that as well. So and now I'm in the process of washing and separating anything that is uh, dead or that I picked up by accident since I just did a, uh, a quick cut and flush, a flush cut of everything. So now uh, once I get it all washed and separated, then I'm just going to put it in my salad spinner and then put it all in the dehydrator. Okay, first bunch has been sorted, washed, sorted, and spun to get most of the water off. And this process is going to take me a little while. I'm also separating the winter savory, although I did bring them home both in the same bag. They are completely different herbs and easy to separate the two, which is what I will do so that I can put them into jars after it's all dry. Now I'm not peeling the stems off these now. I'll do that when it's dry. I'll just rub it together and have the stems cut off or fall off. Okay, so I've washed and separated all my parsley and I've put it in my dehydrator trays. I've got one left, so I'm not going to my winter savory just yet. I'm going to sort through that and uh, put it on when the parsley has dried because <laughs> uh, that can withstand. It's a little tougher plant than this one. Okay. Okay, and the other thing I'm going to do is take some of these uh, and strip them and to see if I can start some new plants from a few of these. Okay, well the project for today is to take all these lovely little jars that uh, my son um, <laughs> brought to me and I've washed them all and I've saved the lids. I'm not going to use these lids so I've put them in a little mason jar and I'm putting them aside. I'm saving those for when I do canning but I won't be doing canning today. What I'm going to be doing is uh, organizing my spices in these jars and the nice thing about these jars is that there is very little uh, texture on them they're very see-through the only thing is that we have Bernardin's name embossed on the glass which is fine that's uh, pretty limited compared to some of them some of them are all flowery and and uh, anyway the reason I'm doing this is because more often than not uh, the spices are all over the place, and uh, Mark is forever asking me what's what, even though some of them are labeled. Um, I thought I would put them all in these uh, clear see-through jars and put plastic lids on them. I purchased a whole bunch of these plastic lids from Dollarama. They're a copy of the ball version that's out these days, but these are a Rama design and they were like six for two dollars, so I couldn't uh, resist buying these for my uh, um, 
jars when I'm only putting dry goods in them. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, going to be an interesting project. Excuse me. This is pretty much the current state of all my spices. I have them in all various size jars, and they haven't been organized or cleaned in a long time. <clears throat> I even have my homegrown parsley in a large jar. My oregano, I have probably three jars of this, so I'll probably organize it as such that uh, I whittled them down, get them organized, get them clean, and I have an interesting tool. Okay, the other interesting tool that I have is something that uh, Mark brought home for me to uh, make use of. He's used this in his uh, daily occupation <laughs> and uh, it prints labels and he had some yellow tape. He said this one is actually fairly expensive but he doesn't use it too often so uh, he brought that home for me to be able to uh, label all these jars so we can print labels and then affix them and I suspect that I will put them up somewhere near the top like this so they will all be labeled uh, clean like this have the spices transferred into this clay jar now which one is my onion powder here we are Now this actually was onion powder that I dehydrated myself. And I guess I'm going to need a spoon there. I'm going to take this machine away from the powder. Okay, that's one down. Nice clean lid. And all my spices are going to look like this when they're done. So I've got my work cut out for me here. Next one, let's get a bowl for. These are going to be the clean lids here. And I need something to put all the dirty ones in. Okay. I will be putting 30 ones in this basket. Let's continue. New jar. What am I going to choose? Okay, this one's done. Put it aside. Ginger. Okay. So, turn on the machine power, create a label, okay, uh, have to backspace, so this one is ginger, capital. Perfect. Now. And where's my print function? He did show me how to use this, but... Backspace. Copy one. Working. Okay, so now I have my label for ginger. I have my clean jar, and I'm going to pull both strips off this time. Oh, 
There we go. Nice and clean. And where's my ginger? Dirty lid there. And that's two down. So I've got my onion powder and my ginger. And I'm just going to continue along here until this is all done. on. Okay, and as you can see it's starting to get into quite the nice organized system here. Okay, well all my jars are not uh, clean yet, but I've got a great start on the spices and now I'm probably going to have to do uh, some organizing of the larger jars that hold salt and uh, pickling spices, uh, but one step at a time. So these are uh, quite nice, and uh, hopefully Mark will be able to find anything he wants. It's all properly labeled, and I'm very happy with the results.